Hi, it's Mitch from PickDogs.com here with your free pick in the Mets versus Phillies game three of the NLDS on Tuesday, October 8th, 2024. If you like all the free picks we do at PickDogs, you'll love our premium picks, our best bets. Just go to PickDogs.com, click on the premium picks tab. We've also got a link directly below this video in the description. Of course, um, prices start at 15 bucks, but regardless of what you purchase, you can use that discount code PICK for 15% off. We also have products meant for people that make bigger bets, people with big bankrolls looking for that VIP concierge style service. We offer this, just not available on the website. Easy to get though, just gotta text the number that you see on the screen. Keep in mind, these are our most expensive premium packages and uh, these are also uh, long-term packages. So they're not like these one-off bailout bet type uh, things if that's what you're looking for. But anyways, let's get to it. We got the Phillies and the Mets battling it out for game three in New York as the series is you know tied up at one game apiece. Basically now it's become a three out of five series with the remaining games and in this one, the, the Mets turn to Sean Manaya and Aaron Nola goes here for the Philadelphia Phillies. I've been critical of Nola, you know, over the years, but this year he's pitched really well. And Sean Manaya having a career year for the Mets, but his recent play has not been nearly as strong. If anyone expected just a straightforward, you know, run over type series in, in this one, well, we all knew, kind of knew that wasn't going to happen. This has been a knockdown drag out. It has been... Um, you know, the type of series where, you know, it really does come down to the final at bat. In fact, both of the first two games have been decided very late in the game. It was the Mets scoring big late on in game one, and it was the Phillies plating uh, three runs in the bottom of the eighth, and then the game winning run in the bottom of the ninth after the Mets had come back again. And that's what we've seen from the Mets, you know, over the last month throughout even those final two games of the season in that doubleheader against the Braves into the wild card round against the Brewers, you know, with Pete Alonso's home run, and now here into the playoffs. And of course, a team that will never say die is always a very, very dangerous team. And I think that's what you have here in the New York Mets. We look at the way Manaya has handled himself on the bump this season. The lefty, like I said, having a career year. But, you know, his last couple starts haven't been his best. The five he allowed at Milwaukee and then two in that wild card game, you know, with just four strikeouts in that one. But for the season, 3.47 ERA. But his postseason ERA throughout his career has not been all that strong. Last time we saw him in the postseason, he was a member of the Padres. He only pitched in one outing, went one in the third, and that one gave up five runs on four hits. So he would like some retribution. And as we look further back at his postseason career when he was with Oakland, he got shelled in all of those starts as well. He has never won a postseason game, but he has lost all three postseason games that he started. Um, he's got a 4.58 ERA over his last three starts. Aaron Nola, of course, been there, done that, member of the Phillies for a while now. And of course, he just signed that big contract in the offseason. So we kind of expected that Nola would have that post contract, you know, Thing where it's like that's yeah, all guaranteed money you know probably not going to be quite the same guy that we've seen in the past but well nola has absolutely delivered this season 3.57 era on the year 197 strikeouts and 199 in the third innings he is a tough customer on the mound in the postseason well he was a top notch a year ago 2.35 era started four games went three and one in those games allowed 18 hits in 23 innings just six earned runs giving just four free passes, two bombs, 23 strikeouts. But in his last three starts, Nola hasn't been on top of his game with a 4.87 ERA. I think when we look at these two teams and especially the way we look at this series has gone and we look at the way, you know, that it all has gone, you know, the kind of the personality of these two teams, I think once again we see a game where the starting pitchers probably don't even factor in the decision. I think we see a high scoring game once again and I think at City Field it's going to be a carnival like atmosphere which it is, you know, on on a, on a regular Tuesday night in New York. I'll tell you what, I'm going to roll with the Mets to take game 3 and that's going to be my free pick. Of course, while you're doing your picks, putting your bets in, use our free betting tools at sportschatplace.com. 100% free, and they'll help put you on the most favorable bets on the board today.